with another video today, and you already know what it is, Carolina Panthers Draft Recap. And this is going to be my fourth one I've done tonight. Sorry if my voice seems kind of weak, but I've been talking for a while. I've done a couple videos tonight, so can't wait to go to bed, but let's get started on this Carolina Panthers draft. And this draft scares me as a Saints fan. I am very scared of this draft. They have some explosive talent coming in this year, and I do not know how the Saints are going to guard this with such awful ass defense, but let's get into the picks. First pick in the draft, Christian McCaffrey. Explosive player out of the backfield, explosive pass catcher. Um, I wish the Saints would have taken him, but we needed defense, so... He's a Darren Sproles, Reggie Push-esque player. I think he's better than both of them. He, he is a very fast, explosive player who I think is very underrated because he's white, but people don't. People just don't like white running backs. They think of Danny Woodhead. They think of other white running backs that aren't fast enough, aren't strong enough, but I believe he has the stuff to carry an offense I don't think that he is a 25 rush a yard and rushing player but I believe he can get almost 200 150 yards of uh, scrimmage yards a game and I believe he has some great potential in this league he was my number one running back and or no my number two sorry but you can see why he is a great pass catcher he looks like a slot receiver out there but just amazing player all right, next pick, Curtis Samuel. He's like the exact opposite of a gadget player than as Christian McCaffrey is. Christian McCaffrey is a running back who can play slot receiver, and Curtis Samuel is a slot receiver that can play running back. So they kind of like can interchange, and you know, they can run some pretty good triple option plays or jet sweeps or wildcat plays with Cam Newton, him and McCaffrey. It can be dangerous but I really like this pick. They're going with a new identity. They are going for a faster pace offense. They're going for something that can help Cam Newton avoid taking hits. They're gonna help Cam Newton out a lot in this draft, and I think that's what they've done with these picks. Um, these picks are mostly to help Cam Newton out and just so he doesn't get hurt. Last year, he was riddled by injuries. He got hit to the head multiple times and he was not himself he did not have that teen season so sorry for losing my voice here but he did not have that swagger that he had the 2015 season and he he was just not himself he did not have that confidence that he had the 2015 season he just didn't look like he was having fun and i think christian mccaffrey and curtis samuel are going to make cam newton have fun again so i love the picks curtis samuel and and uh, christian mccaffrey are great picks by the Panthers. all right on to the next pick Taylor Moten, uh, I think tackle out of Western Michigan. Like the pick, great, great pick to help Cam Newton out more. They just need to help Cam Newton out as much as possible. He is getting hit, he is getting hurt, he is not himself. They need as many picks to just help Cam Newton. Their offense and their defense runs way better when Cam Newton has that amazing electric swagger. And he is leading their team, so I believe these the first three picks in this draft are built to help Cam Newton out and help protect him, make sure he doesn't get hurt, make sure that that team has that swagger. Because when they have that swagger that they <laughs> I've been talking about, they are unstoppable. The dabs, the celebrations, everything. That's what makes the Panthers run, and that's what makes them such a good team. I love these first three picks by them so far. Yeah, you see Deshaun Hall hitting the whip in that. That's because that's what he's going to be doing in this Carolina Panthers team. He's going to be whipping and dabbing all the time because I believe they're going to be dangerous next year. But let's talk about Deshaun Hall. He was Miles Garrett's partner in crime. He was a very good player in college. He helped disrupt offensive lines all year. And like the pick by uh, the Carolina Panthers, they're getting a replacement for Charles Harris. They're... They just got rid of Coney Ely. Uh, they need replacements on this D-line bad, so Deshaun Hall is a start, but I think they need to spend more picks on the defensive line to help him out. But this is a start. All right, and for the last pick I'm going to be going over, it's going to be Corn Elder D-back out of the Miami University. Uh, I really like this pick. Uh, I think Corn Elder is a good player, but I think this pick is to help 
this uh, secondary that had some problems last year. They drafted, I think, three corners last year. Didn't help. They were they were bottom. I think they were bottom thirty of the league. They were like thirtieth, I think. They're really bad. But they have a very promising young secondary. James Bradley, I mean James Bradbury, improved. They had some great players. I know they had some great young players there that had some hiccups last year, but I believe they can be very good this year and for years to come. I don't believe that they can be a great secondary, but they can be mediocre starting quarterback, uh, corners and D-backs and nickel players and safety. So uh, this draft was intriguing. It's a very odd draft to me, but I like the style that they're going after. And I think that they're going to be very electric next year and very, very, like, a fun team to watch, I, I'm going to say. But uh, comment your predictions. What do you think of this draft? What do you think they should have done? Do you like the picks? Yes or no? Uh, comment description. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and peace.